What's up friends? Ryan here and today we're going to be looking at another Star Trek set. Now this is one of the Creo ones from when the one of the first new Star Trek movies came out. It's obviously the Enterprise. And it comes with these Creo figures. Kirk, Spock, Dr. McCoy, and two specialists. I don't know why the specialists aren't in red shirts, but you know, whatever. Uh, I guess this one lights up and needs batteries and they're not included, but... I, I guess I don't know that I have those, so we may have no lights, but that's okay. Let's see what else we got. So it's got a firing torpedo cannon. The engines open up to where you can look in there, and the bridge too. It lights up. Pretty cool little set. I think I got this one off Amazon, because it's it was old when I bought it. I didn't see them when they were in stores, so... Back in frame. Alright, let's put this together. Well, friends, we got it all together. It looks pretty good. I like the, the, the well, this is all, this is printing, this is a sticker, but it looks neat. I like it, how it kind of mimics the, the actual ship pretty well. It does have lights and sounds, but unfortunately I don't have any batteries for it. It looks pretty neat. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but there are five of these that come with the model, and I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be light gray. I don't know, though. Couldn't really tell from the instructions, but that's the gist I got. But they look good that color, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, these are stickers, but give you a view of the underside here real quick, just for comparison's sake. It doesn't have a lot of detail, but that's a sticker. And this... From here down through here is all one piece that holds the batteries and makes the lights and sounds and stuff. There's a button right there at the bottom, that blue dot. And it does shoot this torpedo here. So, there you go. Alright. It does have some detail. You can kind of see inside the engines here. See that little nacelle parts? And then this top of the saucer here comes off without breaking it. See, it's got that neat little Creo brick. And then fold this up. It's the view screen. You have a specialist, Mr. Spock, Captain Kirk, uh, Dr. McCoy, and another specialist. You see, they got their various stations and everything. See the front's got their stations. Captain Kirk's got his captain's chair up in the middle. So yeah, all in all, it's pretty cool, neat little model. My only complaints would have to be that some of the tolerances aren't great. They you have to kind of jiggle it around and push hard to even snap together. And uh, let's see the one. Well, the clutch power. Is either really hard or it's kind of soft on some of them. So, but I mean, it stays together. It's a neat little model. Came with all the pieces you need, so I guess you can't complain too much. The other, there's four, one, two, three, and four. And then right here, you can kind of see is the wrong color too. It should be that light gray. So anyway, neither here nor there. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, actually, I want to compare this real quick to one. Let me go grab it. Okay, so this one here is the one that came with Enterprise versus the Warbird set, and this is the one we're talking about now. Uh, just from looking at them, they look identical. I did do a video on this one a while ago, so you can see what they both look like, but yeah, you can see here, this is the color I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be, and it came with the dark gray, so I guess that kind of confirms my suspicion. But I don't really see any differences. Yeah, I don't remember if I said it, but all these burn marks are stickers. So if you didn't have those on, it would be identical. So, anyway, pretty neat. Let me know what you think. Post your questions, comments, complaints, concerns down below. Remember to keep it real. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.